Good morning, guys. Uh, we are on the Michigan Avenue Bridge, one popular spot. Another is uh, Upper Wacker between Columbus and Fairbanks. And as you just mentioned, look at the crowd here. There's no more room. It's hard to find a spot to uh, watch this decades long unique Chicago tradition. No other American city does St. Patrick's Day like Chicago does. It is a magnificent sight, the dying of the Chicago River, a beautiful emerald green carrying on this tradition, the Chicago Journeymen, Chicago Plumbers Local 130. Plumbers on board boats transformed the river, something they started doing in 1962. A union business manager uh, got the idea after seeing green stains on a plumber's overalls from a chemical used to detect leaks, and he said, call the mayor, we will dye the river green. This is how revelers traditionally kick off the weekend in Chicago. After the river turns green, they head to the bars and then on to the St. Patrick's Day Parade starting at Columbus and Balbo. We met members of the Walker family this morning. They traveled from North Carolina to join the fun. It's so playful and everyone has yeah. like a childlike energy yeah. and enthusiasm yeah. and like just the maximalism of it is so playful and fun. You yeah. have to celebrate our Irish heritage as well, but then also to be around people of other you know races and ethnicities in Chicago to celebrate the diversity of this place. It's important. And we're going to get some breakfast. We're going to watch the river turn green. We're going to catch the sun coming up here, uh, ironically at the same time, and then just be around friends and family. It'll be great. Now the recipe or formula for the dye for the river, that is a closely guarded secret. Other cities have tried to get it and the plumbers just are not parting with that. They will not reveal that to anybody. The uh, party will continue after the St. Patrick's Day Parade this afternoon. Uh, tomorrow on the South Side in Beverly, that is the South Side Irish Parade. On Michigan Avenue, overlooking the river, Judy Wang, WGN News. All right, Judy, thanks so much.